قال المؤلف رحمه الله said the author may Allah have mercy upon him وبعد أن جاءنا الهدى so after the guidance came to us وهو الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم and the guidance is the messenger himself may peace and blessings be upon him وقامت علينا الحجة به and therefore, the evidence was established against us by the messenger who is the guidance. فَلَا عُذْرَ لَنَا Then we don't have an excuse. That's the shaykh talking to all of us and including himself. We must comply with what this messenger came with. It's our duty and we will face great suffering, great punishment if we die on يعني, in the wrong way. Qala Ta'ala the exalted said وَمَا كُنَّا مُعَذِّبِينَ حَتَّى نَبِعَثَ رَسُولًا We do not punish until we dispatch a messenger. That's the 15th verse of Surah Al-Isra. الشرح هذه الآية فيها دليل على أن الله تعالى لا يعذب الذين لم يسمعوا بدعوة الإسلام. The explanation is that this verse has evidence that God Almighty does not torture those who never heard the call of Islam. التي جاء بها الأنبياء that call with which the prophets came. لا يعذبهم عذاب استئصال في الدنيا ولا عذابا في الآخرة بنار جهنم. He will neither torture them with a torture of extermination on earth, nor will he torture them in the afterlife by the fire of hell. Now that's a very nice statement there from the Sheikh. Because... This ayah, وَمَا كُنَّا مُعَذِّبِينَ حَتَّى نَبْعَثَ رَسُولًا We are not, يعني, we do not punish until we dispatch a messenger. Imam Abu Hanifa said, this is about the torture of extermination. Not the torture of the afterlife though. Allah will not exterminate a people without sending a prophet to them first. The Shaykh is saying, not just that here, but even more than that, also Allah will not punish them in the afterlife if he did not send to them a messenger. Abu Hanifa is saying he would punish them in the afterlife, though, if they didn't believe in the oneness of God. MashaAllah. The Ash'aris argued by this verse. فَقَالُوا مَنْ لَمْ تَبْلُغُ دَعْوَةُ نَبِيٍ مِنَ الْأَنْبِيَاءِ They thus said, anyone who didn't receive the call of any prophet, ثُمَّ مَاتْ And then he died, فَلَا يُعَذَّبُ He will not be punished. لَوْ عَاشَ يَعْبُدُ الْوَثَنِ Even if he lived as an idolater, وَقَالَ أَبُوْ حَنِيفَ However, Abu Hanifa said, لَا يُعْذَرُ أَحَدٌ بِالْجَهْلِ بِخَالِقِهِ No one is excused for being ignorant about his creator. مَعْنَاهُ الْعَقْلُ وَحْدَهُ يَكْفِي The meaning of this statement is that the mind alone is sufficient to make someone responsible to believe in monotheism. To make them responsible. We say responsible means... You have to answer. Yani, that's another way of saying there's consequences. Responsible means there's consequences. So according to Abu Hanifa, his mind is enough to establish these consequences. Just for believing in God, not more. فَمَنْ لَمْ يَسْمَعْ بِدَعْوَةِ الْأَنْبِيَاءِ يَكْفِيهِ الْعَقْلُ وَحْدَهِ So anyone who never heard the call of any prophet, the mind alone suffices him. That's Abu Hanifa's way. 
مما يراه من خلق السماوات والأرض وخلق نفسه from what he sees of the creation of heavens and earth and even the creation of himself because he knows that he came first from fluid and he grew in his mother and he turned upside down he came out head first and he was just a little baby and then he went through stages until he became an adult and he sees all this amazing creation it's unfortunate for some people that this world becomes looking normal to them some scholars said even the camel because it's so common people would look at it like it's normal but it's really so amazing how it's created the shape that it has the things it can do laysa lahu uzrun in lam yu'min billah this one would not have an excuse if he did not believe in god wa qalat al ma turidiyatu al murad bi hadhihi al ayati adhab al istisal and the maturidi said the intent of this verse is the torture of extermination fi dunya on earth laysa adhab al akhirah doesn't refer to the torture of the afterlife adhab al istisal ma'nahu al adhab al kasih and the meaning of the torture of extermination is the torture of eradication مثل عذاب قوم نوح وهو الغرق like the torture of the people of Noah which was drowning and you should know that also Allah has a torture that's for retraction not for extermination and that's like what Allah sent to the Egyptians in the story of Moses عليه الصلاة والسلام Uh, Allah Ta'ala sent to them flood and locusts and lice and frogs and he made the Nile River turn into blood so these things were not for extermination these were so that they would retract then when they kept breaking their promises to Moses Allah sent them a plague from the sky killed tens of thousands of them in a single hour imagine you thought covid was something people were acting like so hysterical over covid when you know about the diseases sometimes that allah sent to some people subhanallah wa bihamdi what do you think is happening to some people who are dying or like right in the street an hour and maybe people falling out of their windows or something allahu a'lam just bursting out of their doors dying Allahu Akbar